Hi, in this video we'll take a look at embedding iframes on a web page or within a website. You might see on some websites, especially news articles, where they may embed tweets or other types of social media pieces within their actual article on their web pages. These tweets embedded in articles are more than just an image from Twitter. This is actual code from Twitter's site. It gives the users access to buttons such as follow, like, and retweet. You might also have seen embedded videos in articles or on other web pages. Also, advertisements and different types of things from sponsors are often embedded onto news websites and other types of company pages. Also, maps can be embedded on web pages straight from Google Maps or any other type of map source. You can typically embed these within your page to give users an interactive experience of a specific area that you want to highlight. Introducing iframes. The I stands for inline frames. These are basically embedded HTML pages or HTML elements from another website that can be embedded inside of other HTML pages. Iframes are often used to insert content from another source, such as tweets or items from other social media sites, videos, or even advertisements. Iframes are like windows on your website that allow users to peek into a different website. Creating an iframe is typically done with the iframe tag. The page loaded within the iframe or the element that's loaded is specified using the source or SRC attribute. This creates an iframe tag with code HS loaded inside of that iframe. You can see here where SRC or source equals https colon slash slash codehs.com pointing it to the entire web page of the codehs.com site. Here's an example of a codehs homepage embedded on another HTML page using an iframe tag. Several sites provide embed code to help you embed a particular part of the site on your page. This might be a specific HTML element from that other site. Maybe it's a YouTube video, a Spotify a playlist, a SoundCloud, or even a Google Map. This is what the typical embed option looks like on a YouTube video. When you click on the share button, you can click on the embed tab and it will give you the iframe code that you would need in order to embed that video on a different web page or website. Same thing with embedding a tweet. This is also a good example of a different type of embed code. It doesn't use the iframe tag, it uses a JavaScript in order to embed a widget from Twitter. So it's slightly different than the iframe tag, but still functions very similar. For security reasons, some sites won't even allow themselves to be embedded inside iframes. Malicious sites can use iframes to trick users into clicking on something on a separate website. This is something referred to typically as clickjacking. Let's take a look now at some more iframe examples. In this iframe example, we're going to embed a map from Google Maps. And specifically, we want the user to explore an area of California known as Big Sur. So what we're going to do is first go to Google Maps. And we've already searched up here for Big Sur, California. All right, so we've done that search. Here it is. It's located this region right here, Big Sur, California. And then what we can do is click on the Share button and instead of using this link here for our iframe link, we're actually going to want to get a specific link that's provided to us by Google on the Embed a Map tab. This link will be great to share with friends and family if you want to send them to this site, but we need a different kind of link. We want one that's specifically going to embed this map. 
and it gives us the iframe example right here. We can even make some adjustments to it. Let's say we want the map to be larger, or we can make the map smaller, or even our own custom size. I'm going to choose the medium size, and then I'm going to click Copy HTML. Once I've copied that iframe code, I can go back to my code for my web page and simply insert it into my page. Let's go ahead and indent our iframe code that we've just inserted. So we've got our iframe tag here, and it points to this embed link. It also specifies the width and the height and the style. Um, also has loading lazy um, uh, incorporated into the iframe tag that basically allows it to load once it's viewable on the page. So it saves on loading time a little bit. Um, we can change the styling a little bit within our CSS if we'd like to, um, but our tag does come with some width and height parameters already um, as attributes in the iframe tag. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and see what this looks like. And here we go. Now we have an interactive map and we can even click on view larger map, which will take us to that specific page that we just came from. Or we can zoom in, we can zoom out. Uh, gives us a nice little in, inset um, map here that we can click on for a street view of the Big Sur area. Okay, so we can take a look a little closer there. But it's a nice interactive feature that's now embedded on our page. Now you'll get a chance to explore some other examples and try out using the iframe tag yourself.